Alright everyone, hello, welcome back for more Mass Effect 2. I almost said 3. Sorry, just one second. I'm trying to get a video uploaded. There we go. Alright, yeah, sorry about that. Alright, what the fuck is that? Do? Okay. Oh. It's gonna oh, hell. Enemy Turian. Engaging hostile. Enemy Turian. Oh, there he is. Oh, let's get him. Yeah. Oh, wait, I missed. Fuck. I missed what I wanted. This will put him down. Sounds like someone. It's a beaten. Poor puppy. Deploying tech overload. Damn it. I want your tank. Got it that time. No, I didn't. God damn it. Shit, absolute there. <coughs> I'm not sure if I have to move forward or what. I don't think so. Alright. Let me do it. Now you just pissed me off. God damn, they lighten me up. And I'm like, how the hell did I ever beat this game on insanity when I'm getting my ass raped? Enemy oh, I'm pretty sure I had the uh, DLC weapons most of the time, and those are pretty overpowered. And I love it. It seems we've crossed into Vorcha territory. The Blue Suns have given up a lot of turf. Just what I like to see. Yeah, he's got beef with the Blue Suns. Hey, 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 back off. We got here first. Fuck told me to back off. Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff. It's ours. Ah, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? No more looting. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot us? I've killed people for less. Uh, I don't think he's kidding, man. Whoa, hold on a minute. Nobody needs to shoot nobody. We're stopping, okay? We just wanted to make a quick buck. It ain't worth getting killed over. We're done. Seriously, I swear. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while. Get some rest. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. So if I had said yes, would he just do it? I feel like that would have been worth some more renegade points. Hmm. Don't know. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I watch you in my room. Gosh, it's so... Ugh. I heard it one time and I'll never forget it. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. 
What did he say? Morton's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. I don't even know I'm here to help. Morton saved my life. I owe him. Professor, we're running low on Suproxima. Use Melanarin. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in Batarians. Supplement with Butemerol. Melanarin and Butemerol. Got it. Centipede is a chemical. Boom, boom, boom. Too unstable. Inconsistent result. So awful. No, no, no. Demazine toxic to humans. Not an option. Not an option. Getting all the stuff. And all the things. Professor Morton Solis? <sighs> hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else? Fortune? Crew to clean them out? Unlikely. Fortune a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No, no, no. Too many guns. Not enough data equipment. Soldiers, not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns? Maybe. Looking for someone. Yes, yes. But who? Someone important. Valuable. Someone with secrets. Someone like me. Me. Looking for me. Why? Who are you? What do you want? I'm Commander Shepard, and I'm involved in a critical mission. I need you to come with me. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salarian aid? I'm on a mission to shut down the Collectors, and I need your help. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop Plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. That sounded troubling. Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take Plague Cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from Dead Blue Sun's marks may come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm. Advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variance. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. What? What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Stuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans. Made threats. Killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Salarian Special Tasks Group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Salarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. Let's head for the environmental plant. Yes, good. Restore power. Release, cure. Okay. So it seemed like he had more to say after that, but he did not. So now we get the hand cannon. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. I cannot remember these controls. Boom, boom, boom. I want you to meet your doom. Get ready. Oh, I'll kill you. Sit down. Right, what powers do I actually have right now? Shockwave. But, uh, I ain't gonna hit him from here. Boom, boom, boom. Oops. Here we go. 
Oh shit, wrong button. Pop, pow. Pop, pop, pow, and knock him down. I am flawless in every round, except I do die often. I died quite a few times. And I'm also missing a lot of shots. Honestly. Boom, boom, boom. I want you to meet your doom. Do, 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 do. Oh shit, I forgot which one I was looking for. Um, there's one. Oh, go up. There we go. That's nice. Alright. God damn it, Shepard. That's my fault. I didn't see the wall. I don't think there's anything else for us to get. Whoa, Blackberry and Blamps. Okay. Should I be able to map on a, like, map that to try and go? Why the fuck's it gotta be that? Why the fuck is my choice? Is that's triangle or nothing's triangle? That's retarded. Whatever. It's another way I get told to go fuck myself. Please, I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should Look be out. Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. Pull that trigger and you're breathing through a new hole in your head. Let him go when you walk away. Oh, God. You must think Batarians are stupid. What's to stop you from killing us if we let him go? Let him live, I let you leave. Kill him. I do the same to you. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? Yeah, sure. We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank you. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? It's too dangerous out here. Go help the professor tend to his patients. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Uh, thanks again. I owe you... Well... Everything. Give me 20 bucks. 20 bucks right now. Are we compromised? I don't want to go this way yet. There's something else this way. I 
God damn it. Is that it? Then we came up here. Okay. Zoink. supposed to say nothing back here oh shit it's one of those days really it's just that life that one of them lives Zoink. never remember which is which enemies in front Let me fly. Oh, you bitch. About that one. You bitches. God. Damn it. At least I got that. Oh, come on. Try it. Boink. What? Thought I got this thing. Oh my god. I didn't get his thing yet. Can't target them. Now let's finish you off. Lost shield. There you go. That's nice. This didn't go too bad. I just want to look around for a second because I feel like I used to find some sort of research thing down here. But I haven't found nothing in a long time. Or maybe I was always thinking of a different area, I don't know. Is this the last area? <coughs> nope. Can't hide from me. What the hell is that, Shepard? I didn't even try. Get down. Shield to fail. Try oh, shit. No man's weapon. <coughs> I was about to say, the really, really miss some DLC we weapons. Need to insert the cure, are, then reactivate the they're amazing. I'm going to get them eventually. Uh, you don't come here. We shut down machines. Break fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. I've had enough of this. <sighs> Collect 
doctors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah! Get ready. Firing an impact gun. Point. Excellent. The cure is in place. Now we need to reactivate the fans. Ah. I have located the fan controls. There are two. One on either side of the room you're in now. I got it. Tell them that there's gonna be an enemy. This fan is powering back up. We still need to activate the other one. Ah, oh, there she goes. Damn it, Shepard. That was pretty. Can we just run it? Oh, maybe not. I just hate this area, it's so stupid. I was hoping. Hey, I still had health left, asshole. <laughs> I was hoping. Not if I had uh, my charge better. That shit was maxed out, I wouldn't have had much problem. I don't think, anyways. Oh, I have to restart this whole fucking area. Oh boy. Weapons. Excellent. The cure is in place. Now we need to reactivate the God damn it, Shepard, what are you doing? <coughs> oh, I was aiming? That's such bogus shit. Damn, he went down fast as fuck. Let me do it. Oh my god. So <coughs> bogus. And they're both down. And jackasses. Can't target. Ah, oh, shit. Pistol's not gonna cut it. We're done. I knew we could do it. made the mistake last night of watching a bunch of uh, like short horror films on YouTube that shit was so goddamn garbage <laughs> oh my god <laughs> the worst one was called blink but it was kind of understandable environmental it was, systems engaged this was like a high school project dropping. patients improving Borcha retreating well done Shepard thank you and thank you from me as well those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I was tempted for a minute, but in the end, I figured they didn't deserve to die. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said.
Good kid, a bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Borja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. We're heading out. See you on the Normandy. All right. Oh. Mission summary. That gun. Other things and stuff as well. The only good one I saw, it, which it wasn't even really a horror, it was more kind of like, oh, that's sad. Um, it was like this doll one where his family's. Their son died. And this dude was like, well, give me a piece of his hair. Um, the possession he loved. And something else. And then, uh, like, he makes this creepy ass doll. And as long as you touch it, you can tell, like, it's your son. Or, uh, like, it's an illusion. That you, like, see your son or whatever. That was a good one. So if you guys do look up, like, short horror ones. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. Short horror films. It's an honor to have you see, like, this creepy board. doll. Yes, Click very it, exciting. That was actually Cerberus a pretty good watch. Aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once. Retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only. No knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. The collectors have been abducting colonists from the fringes of the Terminus systems. No distress signals are sent out. No signs of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. Slower than gas. Drugged water supply? No. Effects not simultaneous. Intriguing. Fascinating. No distress calls. No signs of resistance. New technology. Marvelously advanced. This isn't a game. We've lost thousands of people. God only knows what the Collectors are doing to them. Easy, Commander. Dr. Solis is a problem solver. This is how he thinks things through. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be a dick about it. from one of the missing colonies, Professor. We need you to analyze it and see if you can figure this out. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be... No, maybe. Have to ask, is that an AI? This ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. To Renegade, to Paragon. Oh. All badass. No next time research and shit, that's good. That's I don't care about that. I mean, we could. In theory. Let's just get it. A nice playthrough. We will, uh, Shepard, yeah, I don't know. how can I help? Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs, destroyed most of them, returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples, more collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always. Some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. Whoops. Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No. Loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save greatest number of people using limited resources. 
security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also, enjoy saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice retirement after SDG work complete. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Task Force. <sighs> Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with <sighs> limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectres similar, given goal, told to accomplish. Better, funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well, safe and secure, neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan rebellion's bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions, needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon, nothing to worry about. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions Ugh. more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Ugh. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Okay. I worked with an SDG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Vermeer. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. Hm. Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado. Jargon. Chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Nice talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Yeah, if I want to hear that face. I think it wait till we actually, like, met her. Just haven't gone down there yet, but whatever. Uh, I guess we could do some looking around. Earlier when we spoke, you were very open with me. I like that. But I hope I didn't come across as too flirty. I don't want to overstep my bounds. You're very charming, Kelly. Thank you. The feeling is mutual. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Engineering. Shit. <laughs> 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 I've been awake for like two hours, so I shouldn't be fucking tired. I did want to sleep for a few hours, like fucking usual. Had a hard time getting to sleep, so I was yeah watching a shit ton of those short horror films. Oh man, so many of them are garbage. <laughs> There's so many. And after the movie, I'd look at like the comments, and people were like, "Hey, is anyone else reading the comments to be less scared?" It's like what. Have people ever seen a horror movie before in your lives? Once? Are you fucking kidding me? There's one called, uh, Don't Look Away. Oh boy, I was acting good in that one. Jesus Christ. You came Christ. all the way down here to see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. 
I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Where did you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost Those respect bitches. for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Carry on. Well do, Commander. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you he would. I don't think I saw any that were actually like kind of scary. Bitch, definitely watch Don't Look Away because that is just. Hot garbage. And then in the comments, one person wrote, like, the beginning seemed like the start of a porno. And I was like, you're right. <laughs> totally did. So you should watch that, because that was... And with that in mind, that the beginning starts kind of like a porno. <laughs> it's just funny. And you're be like, oh, it starts like that kind of porno. You're like, yeah, it sure does. Oh, she's a cutie. Sure do. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Okay. Renegade. The men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. Renegade. Man, you just said that out loud so like everybody could hear. Everybody. Er, 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 everybody, uh. You ain't never seen a nigga like me, uh. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. 
Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, oh, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals. I wash my hands. Most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel. And I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. That's disgusting. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Sick. Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. Do you have everything you need? I make do, but have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble oh. you on board. It's good to see you alive. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking uh, of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo uh, when momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi. The Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres Ice Brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. All right, let's get this on the road. I'm getting bored. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, shit hurt. So, should we go get Arch Archangel, whatever? Arch. Psh, 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 psh. Hello, hello, Bono. Madam, please go over to go. I was kind of starting to think of doing an Obliv Oblivion playthrough, but I play those games so much and I don't really like them anymore. I don't know. I'm just down to switch it up to something I haven't done a thousand times. Also, I think just state of mind lately, I don't get enjoyment out of anything, so everything's just kind of shitty. And I apologize. Zoom. for like a week we had I remember like two weeks we had pretty much no snow on the ground now we got lots of snow on the ground again god damn southern Minnesota shit sucks who do we want to take with us who do we want? Who do we want? Yeah. Who do we want? Do do do. Who do we want? It's like these two. I don't usually take them. At least not for this mission. God damn it, Shepard! You just need one more. Bow. Hope we got rid of incinerate. There you go. Bam. Oh, I want that neural shock, motherfucker. That's for now. Judging by the quarantine reports, the plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. Dr. Solis's assistant has been helping any patients with complications. That's Excellent. Hot. Knew he could do it. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Oh yeah, I knew the other thing I wanted to do. I think the couplings are right here. Maybe not. I don't know. Nope. Council members aboard thanked human alliance soldiers for their right here. Two years ago. Okay, they're downstairs. Protesters have again attempted to extinguish the Shepherd Memorial flame on Torfin. Authorities issued warnings, but Admiral Hackett asked that no arrests be made. Now they're trying to get rid of my memorial. We'll be back for that shit later. Work actually pretty fun to play as in a. Vorja adaptation interesting, not just biological, social as well. Urban area adapting to them in return. Large concentration. Hope they're controlled. If they attack, as happened near my clinic, casualties likely. Okay. Gotta wet the whistle.
Black. Shepard, are you all right? <sighs> how much did I drink? One drink. That's all it takes. That racist Batarian bastard. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk, and an hour later, he was puking blood. I think I'll go give that bartender a taste of his own medicine. He won't be expecting you, that's for sure. Give that Batarian bastard what he deserves. <laughs> that may be some, like, Morden may have some shit to say about that. Apparently, they just dragged me out here, and like, well... That's real stupid, why they drag me out here? Say more than you're a bit of a doctor, you should be able to figure out what's wrong with me. Give me some help. That is kind of stupid. Do I? No, no, you humans all look the same. Here, have a drink on the house. But, but, you drank? You should be dead! Wait! You don't want me to! Now! Drink it! I... No! You can't! I... Drink it! Or I'll blind you one eye at a time! You son of a bitch. No one poisons me besides alcohol poisoning. Oh, weird. That was fast. Bastard deserved what he got. I got a mate and a ship. I only brought one of them with me to Omega. But does that does that mean he's trying to fuck me? I I don't know. I don't know what to, what to say about that. No escape. Aria has a job she needs doing. You up for some work? That depends on what Aria has in mind. Aria's gotten word that some blood packed mercs plan to kill an old acquaintance of hers, a Krogan named Patriarch. She'd like you to keep that from happening. What's the blood pack's problem with Patriarch? If you've met Patriarch, you know. He can't keep his damn mouth shut. Some people don't appreciate his stories, especially when he dips into non-fiction. So, the, the real ones, the real stories? Alright, um... What's Arya's interest in protecting him? Patriarch was one of her deadliest enemies back in the old days. Now she keeps what's left of him around as a trophy. As long as he lives, he's a perfect example of what happens when you go up against Arya. I'll look into it. Good. Patriarch's downstairs, likely surrounded by his fans. Get him into hiding until the mercs move on. Come back here when it's done, and you'll get your due. I'll be back when the job is done. Good luck. Yes, yeah, so I just said. So if someone's like, hey, after you take a shit, make sure you flush. And you're like, yeah, after I take a shit, I'll make sure I flush. Like, you look good. As I said, as I fucking just said. Welcome to Afterlife. How may I serve you? Pour me a drink. Hold the poison. Oh, yes. I heard about my predecessor's little scheme. I'm very glad you survived. I've been instructed to give you drinks on the house. Rest assured that they will contain no illicit ingredients you haven't asked for. 
Well, where's my drink? Welcome to Afterlife. I'll just Come have in. something to drink. Of course. <laughs> Can't do it in real life. Gotta do it in game. You think this is a game? All right. Again. Greetings. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Aria wouldn't uh. hurt. It would uh. look bad. <laughs> but perhaps Aria's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. I don't want him to die. Here's an idea. Let me handle the assassins for you. And so your name grows while I remain an old man who lets others fight his battle. No. You remain a powerful warlord with forces at his command. Not just Arya's trophy. Well, you could... You could be my Trent, fighting for my honor. If you would do this for me... I would be grateful. I might even be a Krogan again. Maybe just go right down here. Out of our way, human. Patriarch says hello. Aren't they that easy to take down in game? I feel like this was meant to be a bigger quest, and they're just like, no. Killed them all, and yeah, everyone uh, knows all two guys. that the patriarch is not to be crossed. Thanks to you, Arya may think of me as more than a trophy, a real advisor, maybe. Or even a threat. Use this. Don't ever let anyone think you're weak again. Thanks to you. I am a Krogan. By the way, be careful with Arya. She will approve of what you've done, I think. But not of you altering the balance of Omega. I think it reminds her too much of herself. I think I could do good running this place. That'd be sweet. That was an option. That'd be, oh, oh boy, that'd be fun. Let me watch my Paragon Renegade because I'm, uh, I'm still leaning on Renegade, but still. Fears of an uncontrolled plague in the streets of Omega have been laid to rest as the disease is now under control. Went the wrong way. Arya wants to speak with you, human. She heard you took on the Blood Pack assassin. Word has it that Patriarch's Krant took out the men set here to kill him. Funny, I didn't know he had a Krant. Patriarch has more influence than you thought. I see. Well, maybe I should watch my back then. It's not what I asked, but you got the job done. So pay me. Do you need something else? Sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is oh. history. long, bloody, and always uh. ending in my favor. The details are complicated. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most of them. But Patriarch was something different a powerful friend I'm surprised you were ever anything but rivals we were allies for a hundred years I suppose he decided that was long enough wasn't a surprise when he turned he controlled the muscle my people contributed more subtle action 
espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. Superior intel? Assassination? That's cute. No, I took advantage of certain skills my people try to downplay. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. The toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. Patriarch doesn't sound like something an Asari would come up with. I found it humorous. He wanted power. And we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. I eventually found a certain respect for the title and the man. So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. A trophy and an example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. Dignity is one of the few commodities not available on Omega. Interesting, but let's move on. Do you need something else? Thanks. We Maybe done. I'll come back later. Why don't you find a nice girl to keep you warm in the meantime? Because there's no such thing as nice girls. I hear you're recruiting. Hmm. Why don't you step inside? You'll get paid when the job's done, just like everyone else. Who's next? You three look like you could do some damage. Looking for a good fight? You could say that. Standard fee is 500 <coughs> credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Sun's Eclipse of the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under our noses. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Why are the mercs working together to take down Archangel? You haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Tarek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Tarek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jared's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Tarek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the Freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides... What are the odds he can kill all of you? Um, Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. He had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations, and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a vorch out of the sewer pipes. But that's where we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? Yeah. This is it, but it's no game, kid. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. You'll need to know more than that if you want to survive. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol, and I want to use it. Get your money back. You little shit. Hey, what are you? Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. They come again. Last time I heard that, I was trying to push out a fart. <laughs> uh, sick. 
so sick. I'm on the mission. I hope you're ready. Archangel's been annihilating you freelancers. Ready when you are. Get in. Again, we're taking these two. Uh, oh my god. Uh, uh, so sleepy. So damn sleepy. At the same damn time. It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? Just tell us where to go. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground. But he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. I'll get to him. Just point me at that bridge. I like your attitude, but we've got a plan in place. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. Sounds a bit like a suicide mission. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Kathka. He'll tell you when to go in. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout? Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout. But they can't get any closer without being seen. How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down, but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge, so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with him for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangels killed dozens out there already. Getting in, simple enough. Getting out, problematic. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Okay. Shepard, I've scanned the area, but I am unable to plot any other paths to Archangel. Guess we're going with the Mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. Alright, five, four, three, two, one. If you want to read it, pause it. Bam. Do you need something? You lead the eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, freelancer? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack? Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. So you're just gonna hide here while the freelancers get killed? Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction.